Hi guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial on uh, IT Dot Tutorials. I am Josef uh, Botner. In this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a calculator in uh, Visual C Sharp uh, Windows uh, Form App using uh, Visual uh, Studio. I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio 2019 Enterprise. This uh, doesn't make uh, too much uh, a difference. You can use uh, any version of Visual uh, Studio. Either uh, you use uh, Visual Studio 2010, 2012, or 2017. Uh, doesn't matter. You uh, can do the same thing. Uh, what I'm going to do in uh, my uh, version of Visual uh, Studio, and uh, you can use the Visual Studio community to uh, make uh, calculator without any problems because uh, Visual Studio community has uh, uh, actually about all uh, features uh, what you need to uh, make a project uh, and app. Uh, so uh, the difference between uh, Visual Studio Community and Visual Studio Enterprise is not uh, that uh, big. Yes, uh, Visual Studio Enterprise has uh, a few features um, extra. But uh, let's continue with uh, our tutorial. Uh, I'm going to make uh, a series of tutorials regard to uh, this project uh, calculator. Um, actually, uh, I would like to make a calculator uh, like uh, this this one in uh, Windows uh, 10 or uh, Windows uh, 8 or uh, Windows 7. About uh, like uh, this one, uh, I'm not going to do this uh, row. Yeah, I'm going to start with uh, this uh, row of uh, buttons. Yeah, uh, up to uh, here uh, down. So uh, this uh, tutorial, uh, which is the first uh, out of uh, two or three uh, tutorials, uh, has the goal uh, to show you how to design the form and how to place the controls uh, on the form uh, to make um, a calculator uh, project and uh, in the next uh, video tutorials I'm going to show you the code behind the form, behind the controls, uh, which uh, makes uh, the calculator to be functional, to work. So let's uh, start. I'm going to start uh, a project uh, from the scratch. Um, so uh, choose uh, this option, create a new project. Either uh, you gonna have here uh, Windows Form App uh, with the uh, .NET framework in a parentheses, um, or uh, you can choose uh, from this uh, list. If you can't find it, uh, you just uh, type in a searching box uh, Windows uh, Form App. Yeah, and uh, sorry, I go back. I pressed uh, Enter uh, by mistake. Uh, Windows Form App uh, will come up. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to use uh, this version uh, .NET Core. I'm uh, I'm going to use uh, Windows Form App, and uh, in parentheses uh, you should have this uh, .NET uh, framework. So uh, select it, uh, click Next here. Let's uh, write the name uh, of the project uh, calculator, and I'm going to write here. Uh, 001 because uh, I have done before this uh, project before uh, this tutorial yeah and uh, here I'm going to uh, write uh, extra this SN from solution uh, to make a difference uh, between the project name and solution name press uh, create here you go here uh, is uh, our form uh, let's resize it yeah, because uh, as I told you, I want to do a calculator about like this one. So uh, uh, I should uh, resize uh, this form. Yeah, I uh, want to change the icon, but first let's change the name uh, from uh, form one to calculator. Yeah, and here uh, I can change the icon. You can uh, get an icon from this side. So let me to show you from the uh, very beginning. If you launch uh, Google, uh, just text in um, uh, here in Google uh, Icon Finder. Yeah, enter. It will come up uh, this link and click on it. Okay, and now uh, uh, 
you just type uh, calculator enter and it will come up uh, a few icons uh, as you can see here the, on the left side uh, you have two options free or premium premium is by uh, pay yeah you should pay uh, for uh, premium uh, icons as you can see here the uh, are the prices but uh, you choose free if you want to have a free one and uh, after uh, you will get uh, a lot of free icons and let's uh, choose one from here I like this one yeah but first uh, check uh, the size here uh, in my opinion uh, an icon should have uh, like uh, 32 pixel or 48 I'm going to choose 48 pixels yeah and I'm going to choose this one click on this uh, arrow will come uh, up uh, this uh, list and choose uh, icon uh, windows icon uh, download the icon and um, go uh, to your project I'm gonna to create another folder name it image images and I'm gonna to place my uh, icon here I'm gonna to name it uh, calculator enter here you go I'm gonna to put down this and uh, here in properties uh, click on this button uh, yeah let's go to my calculator which is this one uh, as I told you I have done this project uh, before this tutorial uh, here you go calculator 001 yeah and here is my icon yeah and uh, open it and uh, place it uh, on the form now uh, as you can see the icon is uh, here and the name of the form uh, calculator uh, let's uh, launch uh, this form now I like to launch uh, my app uh, quite often when I start a new app uh, because in this way I can see better what kind of changes uh, I have to do yeah so now what I noticed that uh, this uh, form uh, was uh, released uh, here on the left side which I don't like it at all I like this form to appear uh, somewhere here in the center of the screen yeah so if this is the first adjustment uh, what uh, I need to do another adjustment I don't want uh, the user to be able to maximize this calculator because it doesn't look good at all yeah so I should uh, disable this uh, maximize button yeah and uh, I don't want uh, the user to be able to modify the size of the calculator because it doesn't look good so I found uh, three adjustments to do in this way that I uh, launched before my app so let's go back and uh, let's launch the properties window and uh, first uh, I'm looking for uh, a form border style it should be here somewhere here yeah and I'm going to change uh, this uh, value uh, sizable uh, to a fixed single and now this uh, form uh, the user can't uh, change it anymore yeah because I um, set this uh, property form border style to fixed uh, single Another uh, adjustment what I have to do is uh, to disable this um, maximize button. I go here uh, to this property maximize box and I change true with false. And in this moment user can't change anymore the size of this uh, form. Uh, there was another adjustment uh, this form to appear in the center of the monitor. So I've got this uh, property here start position now uh, it is uh, set to windows default location and i change this uh, to center screen and in this moment uh, after i will release again this uh, form it uh, will appear in the center of the monitor on the uh, screen okay so let's uh, see this again let's see the adjustments yeah as you, as you can see uh, the form appeared uh, exactly in the center of my screen uh, the user can't uh, maximize anymore uh, 
this form as you can see and the user can change the size as well uh, he is able to move it uh, everywhere on this uh, screen but uh, he can't uh, change the size as you can see okay let's go back uh, what uh, I have to do next I have to place the button so uh, I have to place one two three four buttons uh, on uh, one row yeah and uh, I've got uh, one two three four five rows so uh, four buttons per uh, five rows okay so let's do it I'm going to place uh, here the button. Let's resize this button. Okay. And now let's copy and paste it uh, another three times. Yeah, I need uh, four. Yeah. Uh, one, two, and three. Okay, so let's resize this uh, form as well. <coughs> okay, now select all buttons, copy and uh, paste it uh, another four times. One, two, three, and four. So this comes here somewhere. No, okay, sorry. Let's select them. Okay. Okay, let's select all buttons now. Good. Let's resize the height and the width as well. And I need a label here, up here. I need to modify this property outer size from true to false to be able uh, to resize uh, this label as I wish. Yeah, false. And now I can resize this label as I wish. Yeah. I'm going to type uh, in the text uh, box here in the uh, is property uh, zero. Yeah. And uh, I need to place uh, somewhere else this zero. It doesn't look well at all. It should be here somewhere on the right side in the middle. So uh, I go here on this property text line and I change this top left. Uh, I think it, it should be um, uh, middle right. Yeah, yeah, now it's okay. What I have to change uh, further is uh, the font, uh, the size of font let it be 22 and the bold yeah good and the border style from none uh, to be changed to fixed single okay let's uh, move uh, up uh, these uh, buttons as well and this one yeah, good. Let's resize the high. Good. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to start to set the buttons. Yeah. So here I'm going to write C. I'm going to have this button uh, C. And I go here up. And uh, also I change the name because uh, this name is very important when I'm going to code. And I, got, I try to make this name, uh, which uh, I'm using inside the code, uh, to be uh, suggestive, to be related to uh, my button or uh, what the button is going to uh, make. Okay, uh, see, 
another one here. This is going to be CE. Okay, and here I'm going to write uh, CE. <coughs> I don't need this button actually, so I uh, remove it. And I, I'm going to resize this uh, button, and here I'm going to write the division operator. Uh, this one, and here I'm going to uh, write just the e from division, it's enough. Yeah, and here it's going to be uh, seven, and here uh, zero seven. Oops, what happened here? I should uh, select it and write seven. Yeah, <coughs> here eight. Uh, zero eight <coughs> nine zero nine multiply operator. I'm going to write this X and here the mult. Multiply. Okay. <coughs> Here four zero four five zero five six. Zero six and here the addition operator one two. Zero two three zero three minus operator minus and here dot the decimal point actually. Going to remove this uh, button, and here is going to be zero. I'm going to resize this button, make it bigger, and here uh, will uh, be the goal operator. And here I'm going to change this uh, with uh, btn result. Here you go. And uh, for label, uh, sorry, I'm going to change the name to lbl result. Here you go. Let's release again this uh, app, this form. Let's see how uh, it looks like. It looks good in my opinion. Yeah. So uh, the design is done. Uh, that was uh, the goal of this uh, tutorial. In the next uh, video tutorials, I'm going to write the code behind uh, these uh, controls, actually behind these uh, buttons and behind this uh, label, which will make uh, this calculator to be functional to work, to do something. So thank you for watching uh, this video tutorial and uh, I'm waiting for you to watch uh, the next uh, tutorials um, regard to this uh, project uh, calculator. Thank you. See you next time.